All right, this week we reviewed, or we're going to review, Kite Runner. Well, even though we saw it like 800 years ago. but uh, Dave, what's Kite Runner about? Kite Runner is the adaptation of a best-selling novel from a couple of years ago that everybody who read it loved. It's the story of two boys who grow up as friends in Afghanistan before the Russian invasion, and it traces a conflict in their lives that goes through the invasion of the Russians and then the Taliban takeover of, of Afghanistan toward the end. And it's a really good, touching movie. It's What I like most is it's about people. It's not about all this whiz-bang stuff that a lot of Hollywood movies are about. Yeah. When you have a movie about people, that's already a step up for me. No, and it was emotional. You know, there were points in the movie where everybody cried, but you don't have to cry at a movie to like it. And I don't. sometimes it's melodramatic, but this was not melodramatic. It had just the right touch. I, I'll go over the top. I mean, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. There's a lot of stupid movies out in the holidays. There's always a lot of stupid movies out. And if you got a chance to go to a movie, why don't you go to a good one? Like like this. Well, movie. I always ask that question. Yeah, people don't. Yeah, and this one is quality. Look, it's is it perfect? No movie's ever perfect, of course. And uh, it's some people say it's a little long, and I guess it's a little long, but I wouldn't over sweat that at all because I I never got bored. I thought it just no. moved right along and it told a great story. And movies are supposed to be about stories. And there was the heroic dad in the movie. Everything just felt just right. Kite Runner was supposed to be released a long time ago, but they had a conflict because the two main child actors are not actually actors. They're two children from Afghanistan, and there was a child rape scene in the movie, and they feared that these two children from Afghanistan would fall under a stigma in their home country if the movie were released. So they delayed it while they took care of the kids. And now it's bit by bit it was released in the U.S. It might be hard to see in a lot of places, but it should be out there. And it's worth the effort of trying to find it. And yet yeah, they moved the kids out of Afghanistan, so they're fine. I mean, it's a perfect example. So I'll do a comparison here. Last weekend, I went to see Atonement because some women dragged me to it. It had seven Golden Globes, and it was hideous. It was awful. So boring. I don't know if Kite Runner was longer or if Atonement was longer, but Atonement seemed like it lasted four and a half years. It was some dreadful long poem where people kept walking around and saying nothing. God, if you're going to see crap like that, don't do it. Save your money. Go to Kite Runner instead. So I'm pretty clear on it, Dave, but let's get your lemon review. Five lemons is the worst you can get. It's the most bitter. Zero lemons is not bitter at all. It's a great review. What do we got on Kite Runner? There are a lot of good things about this movie. I could find a couple of flaws here or there. there were the, one, the main actor as an adult was kind of weak, and there was some loose, not-so-great dialogue. But all that doesn't add up to even a single lemon, so I'd have to give this zero lemons for Kite Runner. Oh, come on. It's over. Unprecedented, unprecedented zero lemons. What are you going to do? you got to go see it now. All right. Have a great weekend, Young Turks.